Hi, we're Robin and Graham, and we've been traveling Vietnam for the past month. Sadly, our time in this beautiful country is almost over, so we thought what better way to finish it off than to visit the famous Ha Long Bay. So come with us as we take a two-day, one-night cruise. Let's go. This is definitely the earliest we've been up. It's currently 7.18, and this is by far the most open we've actually seen these sidewalks. Usually they're covered with scooters and tables and chairs, so it's a nice little morning walk. Okay, come on. Yeah. A little bit late. Okay, so we've made it onto our van. I got a message when we were about a minute away asking if we'd come to the pickup point. Obviously, the bus didn't leave at 8, left at 7.30. We were basically walked up, got on, and we drove away, so almost missed it. So, <laughs> a bit of a close call this morning, but we're on it, and it should be a good ride. We also opted for another limo van. Uh, it was a dollar more than the bus, and it's substantially more comfortable. And uh, it was only $12 a person, so it's pretty comfy in here. Okay, so we've made it to our hotel. As you probably can guess, we have made it to Halong Bay for a very special reason. We are going on a cruise because tomorrow is Graham's birthday. So we splurged <laughs> a little bit and got a little bit of a nicer cruise. So it's going to be a two day, one night cruise along the Halong Bay and we are so, so excited. So we did have the option to either pay for transport from Hanoi and back to Hanoi mm -hmm. but it ended up being like 40 extra dollars a person and we found a cheaper way to do it so we actually took ourselves here the night before <laughs> to make sure that we were by the port ready to get on the boat for tomorrow so we're kind of just treating it like an overnight layover so we are going to enjoy ourselves go for a nice dinner and we will catch up with you tomorrow when we're getting on the boat okay we are at the dock it is the next day because we brought ourselves here we came extra early just to make sure that we're in the right spot because we do not want to miss the little boat that's going to take us to our bigger boat yeah. and so far I think we are in the right spot we'll see it's a little confusing we've been finding a lot of the times in Asia you'll book something whether it be like transportation or an activity and it'll give you a meeting point on that website yeah but then they text you a different meeting point that is like the actual meeting point so that happened again where our meeting point changed so I think we're in the right spot it is my birthday today and this is very exciting this is gonna be a really tough birthday to beat being on the water on a boat on a cruise all right our guy Tony has finally arrived feels better now it's a little bit sigh of relief so we're gonna follow him and hopefully get on the boat we're so excited. We have to take a tender to our big boat. So we're getting on the little boat first. This is so cute. We are on the first floor, so we're like right by the water. Everyone's getting their rooms right now. It's all like floor, wall, ceiling is all wood <laughs> throughout the entire boat so it's very cozy which is why i would say they're called cozy bay but anyways let's test the bed oh it's so soft this is so nice our bed yesterday in halong city bay area was so hard my back hurts so bad This is going to be perfect. There is AC in this room, but they only start to run it past 5 p.m. just because they need to use the energy to actually like move the boat and do other things. So we just have a fan for right now. We also have an ensuite bathroom, which is unreal. I didn't know if we would have a bathroom or not because there was no pictures of it when we booked it, but this is perfect. Okay, now that we are all pretty much settled in, 
time to have some lunch. Okay, so we just had our first meal on the boat. We had a mix of like rice and veggies and different meats and stuff like that. Absolutely delicious. There I think was so much food. So much food, it was crazy. They just <laughs> kept bringing more and more and more. So I think this is gonna be a good day. But now we are going to hang out, maybe enjoy our room a little bit, go sit up on the deck and enjoy the views. And then I think mm -hmm. later today we've got some swimming and different activities that we are definitely gonna take part in. Yeah, so right now it's just free time, so I think we're gonna grab our stuff and head up to the deck to get a view of the beautiful Halong Bay. This is just absolutely crazy that this is our view from all of the windows from the deck. Literally, we are surrounded by the islands in Halong Bay. Of course, this is super popular, so there's tons of other boats here, but honestly, it doesn't even take away from the natural beauty for me, so I'm just really, really enjoying myself. I'm really glad that we opted to, you know, splurge on a little bit of luxury. I think it was like $110 Canadian per person, something around there. So honestly, not too bad. Everything is included except for drinks. So we'll probably have to spend a little bit on those. Okay, so we have been relaxing and kind of just taking it easy for the past, I would say, hour or so. And we just got told that we are going to get to the cave and the beach soon where we're going to be able to get in the water. So he told us all to change into our swimsuits and I think we should be there in like 5-10 minutes. So I'm really excited to get off the boat. Graham took a little bit of a nap. I've been kind of antsy to do something else, so I'm really excited. <laughs> Since the AC doesn't turn on for a little while, our room is against the sun, so it's like really hot in there. Um, so we are very excited to get in the water and cool off a little bit. Okay, so our first stop is a cave. Not really sure what the name of it is. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a hike up. But it should be fun. We're nestled right in a whole bunch of different islands. So, I mean, the scenery is just gonna be gorgeous. We're kind of expecting gorgeous scenery this whole trip. So, so far it's living up to our expectations. Okay, so our guide, Tony, gave us a little update. It is called the Hung Sung Sot Cave, which in English translates to the Surprise Cave, was, I guess, found in 1994 for tourism. But before that, it was all used by fishermen for living when they would tour around Halong Bay and do their fishing. Okay, we are starting our trek up to the cave. Should be 150 steps to the first one and 500 in total. So, a bit of a hike ahead of us. But it'll be good. We're kind of just, it's kind of just like follow the leader. We're all just kind of moving as one group yeah. all the way up. very cool. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this is definitely not it. I don't know. It's just all like the formations and figures and everything are just so cool. I find all like the different like formations and textures all very cool. But I think my favorite part is the roof. It's got like basically little like holes and bubbles in it. I just think it looks so cool. Okay, this cave is literally something out of a movie. It's like crazy. especially the view from when you get like farther back in the cave to the big opening is it's crazy. It just honestly, honestly takes my breath away. I was also saying to Robin, 
that no wonder they call this the surprise cave because <laughs> literally every corner we go around I'm surprised <laughs> and in awe of how beautiful it is so the name is very fitting okay so also this is our third cave of this like little walk that we're doing this one I'm pretty sure our guide called the opera cave and like you can hear people talking all over and there's such good like acoustics in here I can see why they call it the opera cave because there's good acoustics. Made it. Wow. Okay, now that we have made it all the way to the top and we can see the gorgeous view, it's now time to head 300 steps down to the bottom. We just saw like four boats collide. I literally thought our boat was gonna get smushed. That other one just like it knew that that's where I wanted to park and it literally just made a beeline right for it. It hit the boat beside and it looked like it was going to hit our boat from behind. But clear, Captain knows what he's doing because I was freaking out. Okay, we've come to T-Top Island. So we are going to do some hiking and a little bit of swim. Okay, all right. Our group was given the option to either spend the 45 minutes just at the beach or the 45 minutes hiking or to try and do both. So we're gonna try and do both. We're gonna do a hike first and then cool off in the water after. It's another a thousand steps, 500 up, 500 down, but apparently the view is really good, so we're gonna go. We thought we were at the top. Turns out we're still 90 meters from the top and this is just a lookout point. So close. Made it. Views are gorgeous. Graham and I are so sweaty. So it's time to go back down and take a dip in the water. <sighs> Half an hour later, I think we have about 15 minutes to swim. Okay, switching to the GoPro. All right, we are back on the boat, showered, changed, and ready for a good night ahead of us. Yeah, the beach was so nice. The hike was a little bit harder than we thought, and by harder, I just mean it was more steps than we thought, and it's yeah. just like straight up, but the lookout was amazing, and the beach was like white, soft sand, yeah. and the water literally was like warm, yeah. but still refreshing. It was so nice, especially after that hike. Like just to jump in the water and cool off but we got back on the boat and the music is blasting they are ready for a happy hour it was supposed to be a sunset party but the sun has set already we we're a little bit later um and then i think there's like a cooking class too yeah. that we have an option to go do on the rooftop mm -hmm. and then supper and i am starving so i hope that comes <laughs> soon and then after supper there's even more going on so we can take part in some squid fishing, which I think I'm going to do because that sounds awesome. Uh, and then also possibly some karaoke, depending on where the night leads us. So, okay, I think it's time to go get some drinks. <laughs> the music is bumping. It's awesome. We got a couple of margaritas on the way. I think we're going to sit up on the top deck and enjoy the nighttime view with all the boats in the bay. Couple of birthday margaritas and our cards, so I think it's gonna be a good night. For our cooking class today, we are making fresh spring rolls with a different technique than we learned in our cooking class. We have been just kind of hanging out, listening to our guy Tony sing some karaoke, having a drink or two, uh, but now we're going to try our hand at some squid fishing. We've heard it's a bit difficult, 
Um, so the trick is to go up and down slowly. It feels a little bit like I'm jigging for a walleye, but I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, bite the hook. Okay, well, squid fishing, impossible. So now I think the next step is to move on to karaoke maybe. Doesn't look like we're gonna get karaoke tonight. Boat's a little quiet, don't wanna disrupt people. So I think we're just gonna go hang out on the top deck and enjoy the other people's company. But we do have an early morning, so we will pick this vlog up tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. We woke up early this morning to hopefully catch a sunrise. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cloudy and the we're really just watching the world get lighter. Um, but the views have still been amazing this morning. Very peaceful and just relaxing with all the boats and everything in there. So yeah, we, yeah, there's some cruises that offer Tai Chi in the morning. So we've been seeing like people on top of their boats doing that with like peaceful music. So mm -hmm. it's been really nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, so breakfast is at 7 and we've been up since 5.30 and it is currently, I think it's currently almost 7, but we were trying to get coffee to then watch with the sunrise today, but they don't serve coffee until 7. So I'm very, very tired right now. We're working, we're, we're <laughs> struggling here. Um, yeah. But last night, honestly, had a, such a fun night and a great night's sleep. The beds are super comfortable. Could hardly even tell we were rocking. Actually, couldn't tell we were rocking or no. spinning or anything like that, so. There was a couple times when we were like, can you even believe we're on a boat right now? Like, it just feels like we're in room, a room yeah. on land. Like, the bay is so peaceful. I don't know if it, we've just been, like, lucky with, like, zero waves or if, you know, it's usually this calm, but no. honestly, I was a little bit nervous to sleep on a cruise for the first time I was like oh am I gonna feel sick am I gonna be rocking back and forth but it was honestly it was so nice I wish my sleep was longer but other than that it was yeah. a really good sleep but now I think breakfast is coming up soon here so I think Robin and I are just gonna sit back and enjoy the view kind of feels like it's spitting it is spitting we do have another excursion before we have to get off the boat so hopefully that's not cancelled because of the rain. We're supposed to go kayaking. So we'll see. We're just going to enjoy breakfast for right now. Yeah, and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, we've had our delicious breakfast, but now we are going for a kayak and a tour of a pearl farm. And our guide Tony said, we're probably going to get wet, so we're switching to the GoPro. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, that was awesome. It, we were literally the only people there. And our cruise is only like, I think there's maybe like 20-ish of us, I would say. So it was just us on the water, water no other cruise ships were yeah. in a super calm, like little bay area. The oyster farm was really cool. Yeah. It was just like floating in the middle of the water. Yeah. It was a cool sight to see. So cool. But anyways, we got dropped back off. They said we had about a half an hour to 45 minutes until we need to actually check out. So the turnover of this boat for the next cruise is really short. So we actually check out as we're cruising back so that the crew can come and clean all the rooms so that the next group of people can get on. That unfortunately means we have to say goodbye to our room and pack yeah. up. And I don't get a cruise on the way back in my bed like I was maybe planning to, but I guess the rooftop deck works just as well. Yeah, so we're gonna go up there, have a little bit of brunch, and enjoy our ride back. was honestly fantastic they have been feeding us so good on this tour then we came up here to kind of see our view into the harbor but 
we see the terminal, which means the time on our boat is over now. Okay, and that brings us to the end of Graham's birthday cruise. Yeah, that two day, one night cruise was absolutely awesome. We did so many fun activities. I think my favorite was probably the hike to the top of the mountain and then a dip in the ocean after or in the bay after. Yeah, that um, was a cool view. The water literally was like warm. <laughs> it it was almost so like it wasn't like refreshing. It was yeah. Weird. <laughs> it was really weird. We haven't really experienced that yet. Yeah. The crew that we had honestly was amazing yeah. like our guy tony, tony was so nice for sure just like made the cruise what it was i think he was so high energy and so smiley and just <laughs> like so happy to help us out and get along and chat it was just yeah and they definitely kept us well fed the whole time yeah literally seriously. i don't think the four of us at our table finished a single meal they just like kept bringing more and more bringing food more and bringing more food more, food, more food. <laughs> but i feel like it was just a really nice way to kind of cap off our time in here For in sure vietnam because that was actually our last destination and tomorrow we head to a new country it's bittersweet yeah we've really loved vietnam i think robin and i have had many conversations that i think our favorite parts have been the food um, the people the people and the landscapes have just been incredible the whole time especially here in the north so yeah i yeah. feel like we didn't have a ton of expectations when we came to vietnam and it just completely blew our minds yeah. it has just been so wonderful the month has flown by yeah so i'm sad to be leaving but i am excited for our ne next destination too so we hope you enjoyed our time on our two-day one-night cruise with cozy bay we have had an absolutely wonderful time. Can't really think of a better way to spend a 24th birthday. So um, <laughs> thanks to Robin for planning it and getting it all sorted. So making me feel very special. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we will see you tomorrow when we travel to our next country. Bye-bye. Back down to the get. Whoa. We are super. We're done with this. So we hope you enjoyed our time uh, on our. Whoa. Well, so we. <laughs> so... Oh. Okay.